We have a real big storm heading our way and we'll be breaking down the impacts of this upcoming storm in today's video as well as looking ahead to Christmas week and what you can expect for your weather forecast during that time frame. Welcome back to Weather on the Go, all your weather coverage. If you are new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below for detailed weather breakdowns across North America. And it's also very helpful to press the thumbs up button down below. It helps out more than you know. Going through the weather pattern here today, our big storm system is starting to take shape across the south central U.S. You can see all of that energy starting to spill down into north Texas and across the lower Mississippi Valley today. And that will shift east across the mid-Atlantic and eventually the northeast U.S. as we go into the Sunday, even into the Monday time frame. So looking at the severe weather side of this system today, we have a large slight risk of severe weather weather as far north as southern Kentucky through middle and western Tennessee getting into northern Alabama much of Mississippi southeastern Arkansas and into northern Louisiana with a larger marginal risk surrounding that that is a level one out of five in the darker green shaded color there and that does include the threat for tornadoes then as we go into Sunday that shifts further to the east so moving into portions of Virginia Getting in toward the Carolinas, Georgia, southeastern Alabama, and northwestern Florida with that marginal risk. Again, a level 1 out of 5 for the severe weather threat on Sunday. Let's break down the timing of the precipitation and the big storms out there. Going through today, you can see isolated coverage of some showers and storms during the daytime hours across the lower Mississippi Valley. A little bit higher of coverage of some scattered showers and storms across the lower Ohio River Valley and in toward middle Tennessee through the afternoon hours. A few strong to severe storms will be possible, but the main show will be this evening into the overnight hours as the cold front moves east eastward into the moist unstable air and that will provide a broken line of strong to severe storms with damaging winds and large hail the main risk but a few tornadoes will be possible especially in the slight risk area then as we move into Sunday the storm activity continues to move further to the east with the cold front there, scattered activity from the Delmarva region down through portions of the Carolinas, Georgia, southeastern Alabama, into northwestern Florida. And then as we go into Sunday night, we're going to turn off the storm threat and see just more of the steady moderate rains across portions of eastern Virginia and the eastern Carolinas as we go through Sunday night. This system will be packing a punch. We're going to see lots of rainfall, beneficial rains, but lots of it all in a 48-hour period here across the eastern United States. Now through Tuesday time frame, definitely seeing several inches of accumulating rain from the northeast down through the mid-Atlantic and the southeastern U.S., through early next week. Speaking of the Northeast, we do have some weather alerts to talk about here. We have high wind warnings where we are gearing up for winds that could be over 60 miles per hour near portions of coastal Maine, Cape Cod, even down into Long Island as we go through the weekend, especially Sunday into Monday time frame. We also have flood watches here in the darker green shaded color. We have a little bit of a snowpack across some of these areas. And then when combining some very heavy rain could be causing some flash flooding concerns. And then in the teal colors here or the darker blue, we also have more of those winter storm watches across portions of interior New England there. So looking at this as we go through today, pretty dry across no the Northeast and New England, maybe a shower or a sprinkle, nothing to really hang your hats about here for today. As we go into Sunday, however, precipitation will be overspreading the landscape from west to east across these areas definitely seeing some heavier bouts of some rainfall mainly with this on sunday during the day and then as we cool off sunday night the quick changeover from rain to a rain snow mix and then eventually to all snow will be on the back side of the system with the heaviest of accumulating snow across portions of the Appalachians, getting into central and eastern PA, getting into upstate New York and northern Vermont, New Hampshire, as we go through Sunday night and into your Monday morning. So much so, we'll probably need the shovels, if not the snowblowers and plows across these regions 
as we go through early next week. Definitely down here across the Appalachians into eastern West Virginia through central Pennsylvania and southern New York State there. Could be seeing widespread two to four inches worth of snow. Heavier amounts up there into upstate New York, northern Vermont, northern New Hampshire, and then into southeastern Canada into Quebec where widespread snowfall accumulations of 6 to 12 inches will be likely as we go through early next week. So there will we, we will be seeing some plows, some snow blowers, some shovels out there getting rid of that snowfall once it falls. As we move into early next week, we're going to start to see some changes in the weather pattern here. You notice the ridge of high pressure in the red shaded colors across western Canada. And what a ridge means is that we're going to see drier weather, but also warmer temperatures as well. We have a little bit of a trough across eastern portions of Canada, but we're going to get rid of that quickly. And that ridge is really going to build and expand across the northern tier of the United States and southern Canada later through next week. But we do have to talk about a little bit of a storm system. A cutoff low pressure system is going to be moving down across the desert southwest and the Four Corners region and into West Texas as we go especially through middle and late week next week. Notice the main jet stream well to the north. We are locked into this ridge pattern, but we have a cutoff low cut off from the main flow in the jet stream. And these cutoff low pressure systems usually move a lot slower. So early next week, not really seeing anything with regards to precipitation unless you go up into Ontario, Quebec, Canada, maybe a few snow showers to go around. But look at the United States, folks. 95% of us will be dry across the United States early next week. And then later next week, here comes that cutoff low pressure system with some heavier rainfall, maybe a mix of rain and snow there into northeastern New Mexico, the northwestern panhandle of Texas, as we have some of that cooler air coming in and definitely seeing a little bit of a change over there. But beneficial rains, however, for western Texas and western Oklahoma, an area that has been very dry as of recent so definitely good to see some of that rainfall out there but with regards to temperatures with the ridge remember warmer temperatures are favored and that is what we see early next week cooler to the north a little bit warmer to the south and we warm up big time as we go through later next week as that ridge expands and intensifies across the united states that 40 degree line goes all the way back up into southern canada as we go into later next week, we're pushing 50 there again in Des Moines, Chicago, pushing 50s into the St. Louis region, near 60 down into Memphis, and into the 60s down there near the Gulf Coast later next week. Now moving toward Christmas time frame, I know a lot of people are thinking about Christmas. We're only a couple weeks out or so from that time frame. We are seeing some signs of the weather pattern change once again with more of a ridge across the west and a trough across the east as we go through that 22nd through the 31st time frame. And you do notice uh, overall we are seeing above normal temperatures to the north and near normal to slightly below normal temperatures further to the south, particularly across Arizona, New Mexico, the Rio Grande Valley, and southern Texas, near the Gulf Coast there near the New Orleans region. And then getting it toward the Florida vicinity as well through the end of the month. And overall, most of the country is going to remain dry for that Christmas week time frame. We could have a little bit of that subtropical jet kicking in some precipitation near the Gulf Coast, Florida in particular, and then moving up the East Coast. We'll have to watch for possibly a nor'easter pattern starting to shape up later into December. We'll see if that does come to fruition. It is still a couple weeks away, and we will keep you updated right here on this channel. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below for detailed weather breakdowns on North America. Be sure to press the like button down below if you did like today's weather forecast. Share this video with friends, family, and on social media, and I hope everybody has a great rest of their weekend out there.